hello everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Lawrence Ngano and this is my channel Lovey Designs where I give Photoshop tutorials and graphic design tutorials generally and everything else related to the media so today I want to show you how to do a coat like this like the one you're seeing on the screen right now uh, many a times you will need quotes like this after a crusade programs you see people like Apostle Joshua Selman, Apostle Arima Osai they usually have quotes in this you know same uh, manner so um, to create something like this all you have to do is follow this tutorial right now of course so what we are going to do we will use Control N to create a new project Control N to create a new project and um, you see we have a custom here 1080 by 1080 this is it here, 1080 by 1080 which is very recommendable so we'll see quotes one okay so once this is done you allow every other thing resolution 300 every, allow everything here the same the reason we take 1080 by 1080 is because um facebook and many platforms that is their best uh you know setting and resolution so it is recommendable anyway so now all you have to do is click create so once that, that's done you will see a box like this beautiful so the first thing we want to do is come here to the effects here and we go to solid color we will choose a black color for the foundation what next we are going to do is we come to the same place here and we click gradient when we click the gradient we come here and we say basic you use this drop tool and drop down the basic here you click here now we are going to change this to red red and this to blue tick blue or something okay so once that's done you click ok and here now you are going to set this to zero so that the you see it sends that an angle when it was here it was at 90 and it was you see so we are just going to set it to zero so that they be at two at the right and left angle now once that's done we see if we can scale it a little bit oh, that's not necessary i'm just going to allow it at 100 here okay so once that's done you click ok now the reason why we did this is because we want to create an effect in the background that's the first thing we are doing so we come to the opacity here and we reduce it to say 50 yeah you see it gives one nice effect okay so once that's done the next thing we want to do is to bring in our subject so bring in our subject so we go to where our subject is okay so the background is already removed for this picture there, i have another tutorial on the easiest way to remove background so make sure you check it out this is it right here and also it's in the description below okay so once our subject is imported in here the next thing we want to do is to create something down here and i will tell you why soon so we're just going to create this rectangle box here yes so once that's done we don't want it on our subject okay we're going to bring it below our subject you see so we can bring him a little bit bigger okay so once that's done we are going to do another thing again we're going to come to steal the rectangle tool and we'll create another rectangle here people are really wondering why okay we'll put it here now once that's done look at what we are going to do now follow this very quickly the first thing you want to do is to come here to the fill here at the right and change it to none you see no color once that's done you come to the stroke the stroke at the borders so you come to the stroke and you feel a color we're going to fill with a white color now it's not yet visible because the the, the size is one pixel very small so we're going to bring it to say four something like four Four point something still relatively good yes and here you can curve it a little yes you can curve it so once that's done bam, you have something like this and what you want to do now is select the rectangle and bring it below the subject so you no longer see the subject is above all of these okay this is already looking good to me now the next thing we want to do is use our text 
tool by pressing C or by coming right here. So we are just going to type in here the code. Um, I will change for the code. I would like to use the papers new font. So what we are going to type in here is destruction. One of the codes I've had to say recently is a product of destruction during divine instructions. Okay, I'm going to change the color to white. pressing V if you want to know how to select either you press V or you come here to select now every code has the code tool right so we're just going to put in our codes here yes so I don't like this but anyway let's just use it so what we are going to do is that we are going to zoom or rather we are going to increase the size we'll bring it somewhere here and come to edit we go to transform and we come down to flip horizontally so it faces this other direction now we we'll click on it we come to opacity and we bring it down to 50 so it fades in we don't want it popping out destruction is a product of destruction during divine instruction now the next thing we want to do is to write the name of our subject so we come here and we click here okay so it was said by Mr. Um, let's just look for so you just have to pick the one that you prefer okay remember that uh, fonts are very capital when it comes to design fonts are very capital the choice of fonts are very important um, this one doesn't really pop out but somehow I have a preference for it so we are going to come here to and uh, give it a color something like this yeah a little bit brighter Okay, so that is it said by Minister Lawrence. So this is it, we put it here. Okay. Now the next thing you want to do is bring in the logo of maybe the church or the organizers of the program and I have my logo here, uh, Revival Waves. I said this in Revival Waves, my WhatsApp platform and just bring it to anyway you could either choose to bring, put it here or here okay but let's just put it here i put it here because this place looks already saturated kind of because of the text meanwhile there is space here so i choose here it's a matter of choice and you know a design mindset okay now in this box remember i said we're going to put something here where we're going to put our details uh oh you just have to bring in your detail from where you kept it or wherever it is that you kept it and um, mine is in here okay so we just bring it somewhere here okay so now you just write in the detail the media details of the person Now we are going to change this font to something else. Change it to this. And we change the color to black. Because we are putting it on a white background. So change it to black. We resize it and bring it here. Meanwhile, guys, this is this are my real I'm on all these platforms, so you can check me out and follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. I'm on all of these with the same name, Lawrence Ngano. So you just have to make it match. 
and boom basically that's it destruction is a product of destruction during divine instructions by minister lawrence in that note. so this thing is just a choice you can choose how you know some people usually make this black and white well let's try and see uh just come to black and white here you see okay so you can still choose to do it this way in black and white yeah it's not bad but let's just allow the color for now control z to go backward so we come here and we export quick export we bring it save it where you want to save it and code one save so i go to where i saved it and i'll find it right here this is it so this is the one i first did for the sake of the tutorial this is it and this is now the one we just did now so you see the difference is not that much <laughs> the first one and the second one it's almost the same thing though okay so basically that's how you do a quote in photoshop so uh if you are new to photoshop and you want introduction to photoshop and you need tutorial on you know everything knowing what all of these signify what are they used for and everything everything well i have a tutorial i will leave right here you will see it right here uh, or in the description section of the video where i give you a general introduction to photoshop for absolute beginners um also you want to know how to make church flyers i also have a tutorial here and also in the description section of the video where you will learn how to make church flyers guys it's really really going to be amazing so in this channel i don't just uh do just graphic design i also soon start video editing tutorials um just that i want to start with graphic design to first of all build a certain community so please make sure to subscribe make sure to hit the, 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 the like button and the notification button and comment what you think about this tutorial if you liked it if you were blessed by it if you really learned something what did you learn tell me in the description in the comment section i'd like to know and also tell me the next tutorial you would like me to do and i will likely do it for you so thank you very much for watching uh, see you in my next video god bless you bye bye i leave you with this video